Good afternoon, my Stitchy friends, and welcome to my channel, Stitcherella. I can't believe it is already Thursday. Oh, my soul. I don't know where the time is running. I, it's just going way too quick. Don't know what's happening. But in any way, we are going on with Ambilight, as you can see. I chose this purple color on the bottom because there's lots of it, and I don't have to do a lot of jumping. I'm just going to carry on with that. And funny thing is, I must tell you, today, before I now started this video, I prepared the threads for this purplish color here on the bottom. And what is my luck? You don't even understand. What was this number of this? I don't even know. But it's this purple. Um, every string of thread of mine, you know a string must have six threads in every string i i did three strings so i should have six string six bundles to work with i've got seven because every string has got one extra so this green color every string has seven not six how's oh, that for luck something tells me i'm not going to be short on purple right <laughs> definitely not definitely not i just want to Take this thing out of my face. Oh, I'm making you seasick. I'm so sorry. Just getting myself more organized. Yeah, I think that's a bad idea. Yeah. But um, everyone's at home. Uh, probably you'll hear Mike's going to take Alex to cricket. He comes back at six. Yesterday, I told you I've exercised, but now today we're going to walk again. Well, I am so stiff that I actually don't want to, but I'm going to, don't you worry. I must do it if I want to reach my goals. And today, when I picked up the kids, I picked up Abby and we had a good chat in the car. And then I drove to pick up Alex. And as I picked him up, he was sweating. I promise you, he's sweating. He's like short of breath hyperventilating and he's just telling me please turn around take me to the office do this do that and I'm like just relax just calm down because he's so nervous he can't tell me what's happening this boy lost his iPhone oh my word yeah he lost his iPhone at school he can't find it and I, I, I rode around the block because it's very busy at school you can't just turn in turn around you can't do that and him and his sister ran into the office. They tried to find this phone. Maybe someone gave it in. Normally at schools, they just steal them. They take them. But this school is good. They are good. Because um, while well, they ran out of the office, and I see there they go. He's going to look for this phone now. And I'm on my phone trying to phone. And guess what? A grade 12 pupil. pupil yeah answered the phone and said he's standing there he's just waiting for someone i said to him just look for a very nervous great eight boy and his sister looking for a phone <laughs> luckily we found it so alex also knows now the 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 feeling when you lose a phone it's horrible i know it it feels like my world ends i've lost a few phones in my life and um, i'm sure he's going to take care of it much better now <laughs> after you have a fright like that you will your world it feels like it it doesn't happen it feels like your your world goes and stand still you know you've got a lot of important information and and you don't remember numbers and stuff anymore you just um save it on your phone and in when i was little again or when i was younger here we go again i had to memorize all the numbers i want i didn't have a little book or that we memorized our numbers remember those times there was no cell phone computer type of typing in the cell phone and a calculator and all of that but for me it's different for the kids i don't have cloud space and that and that it works out expensive so i've learned my lesson i back up to the cloud so all my info is in the cloud but this poor kid had the fright of his life today. I promise you it was not funny. I felt so sorry for him. I tried to calm him down. But he's like, I know the feeling. And they always laugh at me when I lose a phone or when something like that happens to me. 
it is horrific but i'm just happy it's got a happy ending yes good news i've got a new store so um a new store contacted me today not gonna say much about it i will start advertising them with the discount code soon probably tomorrow or the day after as soon as everything's finalized then you can go and look and use the six percent discount code so that's also coming up very happy about that it's nice when they when they give you opportunity to work with them i really really like it and um today i have not made an unboxing as of yet but i'm going to and it will be let me think a new craft day one yeah today will be new craft day's turn and um i must say it's yushi but uh some of this stuff is still fine and guess what they already fixed the problem so i will make an update video about it just not now i want to see my products that's coming back because they're reprinting my products yushi for canvases i think under i must go and see it is under under 50 centimeters it's 40 by something they're gonna have like 35 to 38 colors and then all the bigger canvases will have 40 and above isn't that just fantastic yeah so um they did listen it is getting fixed and all's gonna be good i really love them but uh, the latest stuff is just crappy with the little colors but uh it's 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 fixed getting fixed from today and i got letters some of you know you send me your emails with the answers i've got my mail so yeah it worked and i'm very very happy then kidzilla i said it's in customs and we passed customs and then um it didn't move for a few days but today it moved so if we're very very lucky very lucky we might have kidzilla tomorrow if not we will have it by monday at least so it made movement i'm very happy about that because it went through customs and it was cleared by customs the eighth already and it didn't move oh my word i'm struggling here just give me a second this thing is now big and i've got it comfortable and now i'm struggling okay there you go so it didn't move and today it moved twice already so now it's now it's going 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 so i'm very happy i am very hopeful that we've got it tomorrow but mm, i don't know i i hope so but i don't know if it move one more time today yes if not we'll have it on monday monday tuesday monday well, i just want it but it's yeah and it's on the way and it's moving and i just can't wait for that thing i promise you guys i cannot wait very very exciting news that um i must just guys i'm gonna talk while while i talk to you guys i'm gonna talk to alex because he must get mike just hold on i'm so sorry about this alex i'm recording but you must go tell your dad you must go and remember that papers come say goodbye when you go okay so otherwise he's late you know i think i'm everyone's walking talking diary Bye. no the papers that's why i'm telling you, what do you mean? your coach needs that papers yes, and I have the paper. do you have the paper okay my boy bye bye see you later bye. love you okay he's going they've got cricket practice and after cricket practice he's got um private private cricket so he's going to go until six four to six and then he is done i don't know what i'm gonna cook tonight i don't know if mike will cook i don't know i'm just not in the mood it's because i'm not hungry that's why if i'm hungry it's easy to cook when i'm not hungry i'm like Bleh. you know what i mean Margaret's here in the room with me, she's packing away clothes. 
So she's still working. And I'm just going for this. I'm actually going to fi finish all this purple that I start with. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to um, finish it while I'm talking to you. But I took an, an, a lot of thread out and I want to work all this purple finish. This is the part past the, the, the water. So this is now the other side. So I'll see how that goes. Because I can see I'm here with the greenery again. So underneath the house is going green again. So let's see what is happening. Oh. You know, when something happens to the kids, I just hold on. Okay, are you going to drop him? Does he have his papers? The guy that lives here. <laughs> yeah. Does he have his papers? Huh? Does he have his papers? He should have papers in his hand. The papers. coach needs it, yeah. For origami? No, not for origami. <laughs> All right, so we... Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, kids. Oh, seeing him so stressed out and nervous and not nice. I promise you, not nice. But I know the feeling. So I know. The... What? Who's yelling? What's happening here? He's waiting for you. Where's his cricket bag? He must get his kit. Sorry, guys. While I'm busy here. Screaming at them, doing everything at once. <laughs> ah, nice life of ours. Oh, I know what I can make pasta, but nice, like pasta with mince. And I make such a, it's not spaghetti bolognese, it's not that. It's so much better. Maybe I must do that. Yes, I must. So when I take a break here, yeah, I'll take out some mince meat and I'll make them some beautiful pasta tonight. And if they don't want to eat, they don't have to. <laughs> My family's full of nonsense. Now I'm just talking stupid stuff here. Sometimes they're full of nonsense because Abby don't want to eat red meat. She doesn't want to eat. She doesn't want to eat mince, but she eat patties. You know, they all have a story. So most of the time I make it. Most of the food gets eaten, and if they don't eat, then it's just tough. What What must I do? You know. I can't cook like huge food every night. That is just being silly dilly. Really silly. Okay, what's going on here? Alright. I actually worked a bit on this today, but more to the top. And I was watching on the TV while I was working. I actually listened more. It is... I think it's Asian, I think Korean and Asian, I don't know if it's the same, but it's a Korean Asian movie, something like that. It's not a movie, it's it's a series again, I'm watching it's Celebrity. So it's playing here yeah, in the background about the girls being influencers and coming from nothing. Now she became an influencer, so I'm watching that, more listening. The first few episodes I check if there's new people, then I just want to see what they look like. And then from there you just have to listen. So that's what I've been up to. Um, Alex finished with his homework. Abby said she doesn't have, but I will see. And of course tomorrow I'm seeing my mom. I'm going to the doctor. And I'm picking Abby up from school, but not Alex. Alex is staying behind. He's sitting. Yeah, detention. Ha! Never say never my kids. Never do that. I don't. Kids are funny things. Oh, so we will see. I told you yesterday why he's sitting detention. He skipped opening and he sat behind a power box and he got caught. Him and his friends. That's just plain naughty, right? Naughty, naughty, naughty. Alrighty then. Go. Ta da da da. Perfect.
It's almost finished with this thread. Oh no, don't do that. Yeah, my body is so stiff. I know, oh yeah, Emma, we do have Epsom salts in South Africa. We call it Engels' salt. Now, Epsom salts and Afrikaans, you say Engels' salt. Now, if you directly translate that, it says English salt. <laughs> yeah, so we do have that, that. I've got Epsom salts in my, it's always in my cupboard. Always, always, always. And, um... Yeah, that's another thing that because it's not so easy to get in and out the bath when you're so stiff. So I can't exactly put Epsom salts in the shower. <laughs> but I will do it when I've got the guts to bath because everything's so stiff. But it's alright. At least it's working. That's all we have to know. Let's start here on top. But that one and we go down, right? Oh, but there's no piece there out of nowhere. Oh. And there as well. Oh man, but they can stay. Let's just let's just concentrate on these. I'm so excited. I haven't checked actually for more movement. I must check movement of the five. Because then maybe maybe it's moved more, but I don't know. I'm so excited for that stitch. I just cannot wait, I promise you. Ooh, genade. Taking everything here with me. Not good. Oh, come on. Um, I don't know what's up with Alex these days. Abby just goes, she does her thing. You know, he was normally the one that doesn't talk back and Never, never, ever, ever talks back. Didn't do, you know, he just didn't, didn't have a, a attitude. And now, Abby is the one that doesn't, she's got an attitude, but not bad. It's not so bad. Now, Alex has got that attitude. And he's got cricket, but then he thinks of all kind of things to get out of his classes. Not school, but after the tutoring or, 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 um, Cricket. He loves going, but he wants every day. Asks me, oh, he wants to do this or this. Can't he get rather go tomorrow? And that makes me angry. If you do something and I have to pay for it, you will go, and you will keep going, and you will skip nothing. You must be half dead before you skip it. Otherwise, you teach your children just to give up. They must persevere. If you want to do something, you go. And if I pay for it, you will go. <laughs> and what do you think? I think that's just fair. Oh, man. Oh, and the medical aid came back to me. So I must write a letter to them now. And they send me why they did that. It's because my doctor told them I'm a diabetic. And then they said I didn't disclose information and I've never been a diabetic. So I went back to the doctor. I've never been a diabetic. It's been an, a fault. But now I must sort this out and it's a bloody mess. It is a bloody mess. So I don't know. I'll see what I do. It's ridiculous. Always something different. I don't have time for this, you know, crap. It's time for people that... But in any way, oh, don't let me. That thing is just lying like a big mountain over my head. But I'm going to do that later. Let's just go off by this one. Look it up nicely. So I hope you are enjoying your day and you get a lot of stitchy time. Uh, I'm getting more and more stitchy time, but I'm very lazy in the mornings. It's getting cold. So it's not even cold, cold yet, but it's cold. So I struggle to get out of bed, I get out of bed for the kids, and then I just get back into bed. So it's cold, and it's just, no, I don't want to. <laughs> 
And it's going to get much colder. Like I told you yesterday, um, we do not have snow like, like you know snow, or most of you know snow. We only have snow in the mountains, and the first snow has fallen on the Drakensberg. So it's cold. We, we're wearing long clothes, but then it's cold, hot, cold, hot. But it will be like this for another month or so, and then it will be freezing. And it will just get colder and colder and colder. Soup and pancake weather. Yes, lots of soup and pancake and stews. That's what we do in the winter. There's, there's more warm, hearty food in winter. There we are. So let's see. So I'm going to do this one. Oh, my hand's dying. I'm trying to hold this perfectly so you can at least see properly. By doing that, my hand's cramping up, but it's okay. Because yesterday, there was like a minute of the movie again where I was chatting to you and carrying on and not realizing I'm not stitching on the screen. It happens. <coughs> that was quick, Mike. Was it? Yeah, that was quick. That was oh, my soul. Jeez, <laughs> everyone just wants to press my buttons today. That's what they all say. Oh my gosh. And Abby this morning, you guys know what happened to Abby, right? So she didn't fit this morning, but she had very bad twitches, very bad, her arms. And I know everyone's like saying this and that and that. We've done all the brain tests. We've done epileptic. We've done... All the tests overnight, um, e -E, is it EEG or EER? It's been done overnight. There's no signs. We've done MRI, nothing. No one knows what's happening to Abby or why it happens. So now it's just a time game to see what happens. You can't do anything else. It's time. Um, we have to give it time because this morning I was standing next to her and I um. You know, it twitched so bad, she wastes coffee and let mugs and stuff fall. But this morning it happened again. And I'm like, you know, my heart just aches for her. It's, I just hope it passes. It must just pass. And we'll see what happens to that, right? Okay, let me see. Her. And she's such a good little girl. She's just, oh, guys, you must hear when she talks. She's got this, um, in the beginning she had a very, very um, noticeable lisp. And it's only when she speaks English, and she is English, if she speaks Afrikaans it's not there, but my dad and my brother has a lisp. And it's the cutest thing. Sometimes it still comes through. And you can barely hear it, but she's got the cutest voice. I promise you, and the personality. I can just hug her and forever. But they at the age that I'm... They don't want me to hold or hug them anymore. That feels weird. It does feel weird. I can hug goodbye and kiss goodbye and hello, but I can't hold them. And no, they over that. I miss that. Sad. <laughs> I sound like a helicopter, mom. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got a lot of feedback about what I talked about um, when I was young. Oh, good old days. There's a lot of people coming back to me about that. It was the good old days. Today's kids will never, never know, right? Never, 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 never. I wish they did, but uh, nah, that won't happen. It's not going to happen. Oh, Say. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's the canary. For you that, for you guys that's a bit new to my channel, if I talk about my canary, it is a big, big yellow box on wheels. It is for extra power when our power, we've got a lot of power issues in South Africa. And when the power goes out, that thing clicks in. And at least I've got power in my room to work and do my computer work and 
So it puts the TV on. So that's all at least cool. It's going to be a mess in winter. We're going to be cold if the power goes off because we don't have a loose standing heater thing. There's no, nothing like that. That's why we have blankets, right? Yes. You must now see the newest thing in South Africa. I send it to my moderators. They're my friends. Oof, wait, my hand's dead. Sorry, I must just give it a rest here. I send it to them today. They are warning us and we must look, we must we must be safe. Now, they're trying to make South Africa gun free, but they can't. So you do need you need a proper gun license to keep guns and the amount of guns or whatever. You can't just buy a gun. So now all this crime and stuff, it's illegal guns and they're everywhere. They are everywhere. So everyone's got illegal guns. And they're pricey. Not me. I mean the robbers and stuff. They've got illegal guns. Um, now they've got a new thing out. They turn actual pens into... You can fire a bullet with it. They're still going to lose their hands. But they're sending a photo, a, a clip around how they do it. And it actually shoots the bullet. How's that? And right after that thing, we got another thing. In one, I think it's Eastern Cape or West Cape. I don't know where. They're going to build the first bulletproof park. Now, you must know how stupid this is. So, you go to the bulletproof park. The park is in bulletproof glass. They're going to cover it so kids are safe. But, you know, the mentality with what that is being done is actually super stupid because you must still walk into you must go through the area to get to the bulletproof park you must still walk to the door to get into that bulletproof park and if they want to shoot you they can just wait till you get out of the bulletproof park how annoying is that that people think of stupid things like that they want to spend money on that but they can't fix our electricity you know, priorities, priorities, priorities. Who wants to go to a park that's in glass? I won't go near it in any way. Because it's so dangerous going there in any way. It's stupid. We don't have a lot. There is beautiful parks in South Africa. The ones that are closed off and safe and you need to pay to go in and stuff like that. Some of them are still all right. Uh, but there's no free box where you can just go and chill and relax. That's not in a private estate or something. That is safe because it's not safe. So they're trying that now. But I just say, why don't you rather fix our electricity problems? Because crime is spiking while the electricity is off because it's dark and more robberies takes place then. More and more and more. So the intelligence behind this whole thing is just flippin' tragic, yo. Know. Sorry, I had to give my two cents about it. It's stupid. And I'm still in the in the mood for a loomy. That's sad. Everyone's that's talking that talked about a loomy in the comments. And every time I see the word a loomy, I'm like, oh no. I'm so in the mood for a loomy I can die. Uh, that's a good thing. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Abs, are you all right? Yep. Okay, baby. She's the most beautiful little girl. You know, um, when she was two years back, she literally begged me for years. She doesn't want long hair. Her hair almost hanged on her bum. She begged me and I just had enough. And what I did is... I said yes, so she cut it very short. And, um, you know, she learned a lesson and now she's growing it out. It can go in a ponytail. She got rid of the bangs. So I'm very happy. She's a beautiful blue-eyed girl. Now the long hair is coming back and, and it just makes her look different. The long hair is just beautiful. So you must, you know, let them experience the short hair. I've done it as well. Oh, and I don't like it at all. I, don't, I look like a monster with, with short hair. But um, 
she had to experience it, and I'm so glad she did, because now that hair is coming back, and she's got this. She doesn't have brown hair and she doesn't have blonde hair. It's like, uh, we always called it mouse blonde. But, um, oh, she's got the thickest hair. I'm so jealous. Nah, I'm never jealous. I want the best for my children. But, yeah, beautiful, beautiful thick hair. I just wish. Oh, it's so pretty, I promise you. But, you know, I hear Margaret is coming up the hallway. She must go home. Just hold on. Margaret? Yes. You have to go Hi? Say it for Abby as you will whip where, because I can record. Okay, bye Margaret. Say it for Abby as you will to mark. Okay. I was wondering, she must go now. So I just asked her to tell Abby because the gate's got a remote. And Alex is not here. Alex normally does it. So she, she can just ask Abby to get out. There you go. You don't give keys and stuff to other people in South Africa. You keep all your keys. Never, 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 never. There's always someone robbing someone or checking someone. Terrible. All right. I think this was a good session. I will see you just now. Okay. I think we can continue here. Everything is calm before the storm. So I want to still finish... Um, the stitch along with you guys and then I want to load it and I want to exercise and I must still cook but I don't know if I'm cooking on mic but we'll see how it goes I just don't know see ya there you go oh, no, man. Uh, Lola my mom phoned me so I first spoke to my mom and then we continue. I think I'm going to do this and skip a few and go over. Just hold on. I'm going to just <laughs> go a bit of a cross country here. Yeah. Let's just do it. If you hear licking sounds, it's Lola. She's having a vigorously, vigorously lick session or bathing. She is bathing herself. It looks like she's going out tonight. I wonder where. Lars, what are you doing? Oh, she's so cute. I've told you guys, I've, I've told you guys, I've, um, I have told you, right? Yeah, I, I did. No, I don't know. Maybe I should just mention it again. I've never known a cat can grow a primordial pouch. Now, that's why Alex is calling her fat. My mom laughed at me. She thought I'm joking. I said to her, no, <laughs> don't laugh. I'm not joking. Lola actually grew a primordial pouch. It's a real thing. I know you guys probably know what that is. I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. I just went to Google, why does my cat have loose skin hanging on her belly? That's why Alex calls her fat. She's not fat. She grew that thing. And it's the first time a cat of mine has one, so I don't know. She's just so cute, and now she's got this flab aiming flabby skin skin hanging there by her stomach. My little baby Lola. You pretty little thing. <laughs> oh, everyone thought I was joking. Yeah, that, Mike didn't know what it is. Alex thought I'm joking. He's pulling her fat and Abby doesn't care. She just loves her. So yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, oh yeah, I must still I must exercise, I must cook and I must still do the unboxing. Don't worry, it will come through somewhere. It will be there. Definitely. And tomorrow I'm driving around a lot. It won't be a stitch along tomorrow, sorry. Because um, I will do unboxings, no stitch along, and I must do a long formal letter to the medical aid. I'm going to my mom, I'm going to doctors. Got the kids stuff going on. They better just not bring kids home tomorrow. I'm going to warn them tonight. No, kids, I just want peace. Peace and quiet and no. Just no, 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 no. Just not in the mood. Maybe I feel different tomorrow, but no, I just, no, no, I won't feel different. Not this weekend. There you go. So there was another one there. So let's skip to that one. I'm doing it now and I'll make a bit of big jumps. 
I'm doing it, then I don't have to get back to this, you know. It's always a mission when you've got a big piece and these little loose stitches that you haven't done. Just want to get it done. There you go. I've been patching it up <laughs> the open spots. It's like this that what I'm doing now. The bigger block stitches. Doing them. <coughs> and then all the in between. Sometimes there's five, sometimes there's six. Never one. It's always five, six or more. So that took a bit of time. Um, I think I've got like two colours left with six here on the bottom. Then I can roll the canvas up twice. Uh, two rolls up again. So as I'm totally finished and there's no gaps, nothing, then I roll it up. We are done. So I probably will do that also tonight. This is a mess now. Come on. Why? Why? There you go. Fix. Ta-da. If it's a bit shaky, sorry. I don't know. If it is, well, I hope it's not. Nothing I can do about it now. All right, those far away ones that takes all my thread <laughs> because I am jumping so far. They are done. So let's start the top ones here. I want to go to this side, do that one on the far side first. There you are. goes down I must go back up all right it's not very kosher let's do this one at the top and then go back because otherwise we have to you know joy Sundays I do have extra thread that's why I don't really care if I want to jump I jump but don't follow my lead if you don't have extra thread you know, Joy Sunday don't give extra. They sometimes even give you not enough. So please, please. You go. I can hear the cats eating in the hallway. Yesterday was so funny, I didn't tell you guys this. You guys know I've got a whole house full of cats, right? Okay. So yesterday, I was busy here with something, and I hear like six of them about. They complaining and moaning, and I thought, what? There's always, we don't give specific meal times. There's always pellets in the hallway. Two big buckets full of fresh water. Always, always, always. But something's not right. You just know. You know. You know the your your cats. You know if they, and they not happy about something. And I went out and I can't see what the problem is. So with closer inspection, guess what happened? The food bucket. Now I was standing. I'm tall, and I couldn't see because I didn't have. I couldn't see from where up in the air I was. The ants came into their buckets. So every time they eat, the ants go on their face. <laughs> Shame. So they were moaning because they can't eat because they get, like, irritated by the ants. Yeah, so I fixed that problem. I picked everything up, threw everything out, throw it away. Sprayed with um, spray that can't damage them, but it won't let the ants come back. So I fixed it. And there you go, problem solved, no more crying and unhappy cats. They were not happy, I tell you. They were sitting and moaning and carrying on. Not even funny. I was, um, I don't know what I wanted to say. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, got some fear for this. Can't remember stuff, ay. Fear for memory loss. 
disturbed now. Why am I speaking of acorns here? But I can hear them eating their pellets. You know, it's if there's a lot of them eating together, you can clearly hear it. It makes quite a, a noise. I didn't tell you. Yesterday, me and Michael, it's not the first time, it's probably the third time in four weeks, four or three weeks, this happens. We're in the house, carrying on about our business like we always do. Margaret's not here, it's just me and Mike in the house, and um, sitting, and then someone pulls the door. The first time it was the back door, we've got four or five entrances in the house, but... The door that goes to the pool. That was the first one. Then you can clearly hear someone pulls it. So I jump up and the first thing I do is I run. That's the first time, not yesterday. I always run to the front door because that's the door that's always unlocked. Because that's where we go out to the garage to the car. And um, I always run and lock that first thing. And see what, so I don't, I'm not scared. I just run. And, um, but that's actually dangerous. But nothing. The dogs went crazy. Every nothing could find nothing. So Mike checked nothing. And I promise you, choose Bob. It happened yesterday again. But by the back door, um, where the kitchen is there, which we got a few entrances in there. There's this one, two, five entrances. But by the kitchen door that goes to the back side yard, and they. Pulled the, um, they pulled it, you hear the dogs bark, and they pulled it. So I don't think, because I immediately make a noise, so they hear someone's in the house, and then I start running down the hallway. It's big. And then um, I check, nothing, no one. And then Mike came out, dogs are barking, there's nothing. So I don't know, I don't know who's trying to, maybe it's a ghost, I don't know. But you can hear it clearly, clearly, clearly. And it's not the wind, it's not, it's not, it's pulling. The handle goes up and down and it pulls. So luckily there's trilly doors. So good luck to them. And the first thing I do is I grab my butcher's knife. Because there's no time for something else. I run with it. I, I wonder who or what is doing that. Because I can't seem to catch them. I really can't. They can be bloody glad I don't catch them. It's my house, my privacy. They, they can be glad I don't catch them. I promise you that much. And if my kids are here and they come in and they want to harm us, I'll go to jail. I don't mind. As long as my kids are safe. As long as they're safe, they can put me in jail. I will protect them to the death. I don't mind. We live in a corrupt country. That if you protect your own property, you go to jail if you hurt the, the, the robber. That's how it works in South Africa. It's ridiculous. Well, what must we do? Okay, so let's see. Uh, Um, looking at Lola, she's so cute. She's lying um, now on her back. Her uh, back paws are like flung open and the one paw is lying next to her. She's just the cutest thing in the world. I've got so much love for this little baby. Now you must know how much love I've got for my kids if I love my cat so much. I love all the cats. They're just not the same as Lola. It's a bit different. You know, you get what you... I give attention and stuff, but they're not the same. They did not latch onto me like Lola. Lola doesn't leave me. You guys must hear this. I don't know how to train Lola to drive around with me. Because I've seen it on the TV. Someone's got a cat that drives around with them. Now I'm trying to, to teach Lola to drive around with me, obviously. Yes, but now today when I fetch the kids, I carried her outside all too happy. When I put her near the car, she jumped out. I don't want to put her in a cage or something. I want to teach her to jump in the car and go with me. But she doesn't want to. Do you guys know how? And I don't want to put her in a thing. I want to, I want her to drive and she must want to, not jump out. So no, she didn't like that a lot at all. <laughs> she thought I'm nuts, to be honest with you. 
Like, mommy, what the hell are you doing? It's exactly the look I got. She jumped. And then she stood behind the car. She went to lie on a spot where she lies when I go. You not getting me in that car again, you crazy human. I wanted to go with me. She's so bloody cute. But nope, nothing. Alright. Let's see ya. Take that piece out. And let's get another. Alright. I got um pants on it, but they what do you call them in English? In Afrikaans we call them ski bands, but it's exercise ones. With a black top, but I'm gonna go and put my shorts on Nana for exercise because I will not wear this thing outside this yard. It is way too tight around everywhere. I don't want everyone to see everything, whatever. It's not, it's just, no. I like to cover my bum, you see. Now I've got this exercise clothes on. And it doesn't cover my bum. I am feeling totally exposed. So nope. I'm going back into my short and my long t-shirt for exercise. I do not like this exercise clothes. When we were younger we exercised. We exercised in PT shorts and, and t-shirts or, or, or strappy tops or stuff like that. But yassy man. Today's exercise clothes... I don't know if it's a competition, what can put, would like be the stiffest, I don't know. But that's really not my idea from exercise clothes. This is just like wearing a tight, tight piece of plastic around you, no. So no, I'm not comfortable with this at all. I feel totally, totally exposed. I want to exercise, I don't want to parade my body around. It's ridiculous how, how these things are, yeah? Because when I was younger, we, we didn't even wear these things. We weren't even allowed pants in church, the church I go to. So now it's changed, you can, the women can wear pants and stuff. My dad, when we, if I wore pants to church, the, the, um, what do you call the, it's not the priest, it's, but the, the guy that preaches in Afrikaans, he's the Duomini. He would have kicked me out of church. Yeah, we weren't allowed. When I was younger, there was no pants for girls in church. Didn't happen. Um, I'm not Catholic. I am... Um, I don't know how to say it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But it's, it's not Catholic. But we weren't allowed pants and stuff in church. It was a no-no. No, no, they don't worry so much fine you just need to look decent they do look skew at me at this church i promise you they they look at me like i'm satan but i'm not and you know you know why but it's it becomes more and more regular that tattooed people are all over the show at least but a lot of this churches look at you like you right straight out of hell because you've got tattoos Ooh, and i don't like that it happens to me, then I don't go back. Promise you, well, I just like, ugh, I don't go nowhere to get judged. Not fair, you're not playing fair, leave me alone. Shame this morning. We had drama as well, also Alex. Did I, did I talk about this? No, because, you see my memory, but I didn't talk about this. I was still sleeping, it was very early. Very, very early, but I don't know if I... Just let me think, did I tell you this now or not? No, I don't think so, but in any way. Very early, they were up already, it was half past five. I get up at about five to six, six o'clock, that's when I get up. And um, I just hear Alex yell and he screams, Please bring a towel! And I'm like, oh my God, I'm still sleeping, right? I just jumped up, grab a towel and I ran. You just know your kids, right? You know in the tone of their voice or, or whatever, something's going down. So this little mister was busy getting ready for school. 
And he tipped a whole cup of coffee on his table, where his phone is, where his PlayStation is, where his VR is, and the Bible my dad bought him. Oh my gosh. And we're just trying to save stuff. That's what we did. I'm still sleeping, but I'm helping. Um, so we managed to save everything. The Bible's pages on the bottom has got like... Oh, no, just hold on. Sorry. I don't know who this is now. Oh, my soul. It's Alex. Sorry, guys. Hello, Alex. Mommy's recording. Yeah? Yeah. And now, coach is asking if Alex is thinking I can still practice this afternoon because if I can't, he can do the other classes into the place. So my sister will go to the. Okay, but Alex, did you get hurt badly? I'm struggling to walk. Oh no. Okay, guys, uh, just hold on, Alex. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Just give me a moment, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. I ran around now, sorry. Um, oh no. I'll tell you guys now, everything's just, you know, life happens. <laughs> and life happens to me while I record as well, so sorry about that. Uh, Alex got hurt at cricket, they said we must fetch him. He ran 3.6 kilometers and his leg or his ankle. But as soon as I uh, stopped recording, Mike was already downstairs, so Abby told him. Something happened to Alex. And yeah, he's he's fetching Alex and I can finish this quickly. I hope it's not too serious, guys. Oh, man. But I will tell you about it. That's maybe just his ankle. I don't know. But he can't, he can't practice further. So it must be quite bad. So I don't know. So it doesn't help us say it's bad. I hope it's not bad, but he got hurt. You heard the call coming in. So, yeah. Jeez, man. How many things must happen to, to people? It's just part of life, right? <laughs> and then as I put the, the recording back on to talk to you, Lola standing here with a feel sorry for me eyes. Where's my food? <laughs> She's the cutest thing alive, I promise you. Let me just, are you fooling, Lola? Oh, she's a stretchy, mommy. Hi, hey, puppy. She's so cute. She's standing with... She's she's just so lovely. Yeah, now I'm waiting for them to come back to hear what is going on. So, the school is not far from here. You'll probably hear when they come in. Um, we will see what's happening. Oh, I'll rather just stitch till they're back. Otherwise, I'll run up and down worrying. But I'm glad Mike will go fetch him quickly. And right when they come back... Oh, man. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm sorry, but I need to. Hello? Um, who come? No, yeah, my, my dad met up at Oh, dad? Yeah, he is in and dad is up at. He is up at oh. Relax. As you come, I don't know if you can record. Have you got a Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, but when you come back, I just want to finish. I don't know if you can record. Okay, buddy. Okay, leave you. Bye. Okay, that's Alex. Sorry, guys, once again. Please tell me if this bugs you. But when I when I talk to you, this is my you you just. I'm having a normal day, stitching, talking to you. That was Alex. Um, he says his ankle. He can't step on his foot, so that's gonna have to help him. Um, Mike, it's gonna have to help him with his bags and stuff. He can't step on his foot. His ankle something about his ankle so um we'll see how bad it is now i said i just want to finish chatting to you guys he says no i need to, he doesn't need to go to his dad but i'll check it out if it goes blue or stuff we'll have to but if it's just a twisted ankle 
or leg, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Just, you know, it doesn't help. I'm sitting here guessing. But um, I'll have a look and then we'll see what we can do. So we must go down there now. Wow. Yeah. So it happens. <laughs> uh, I, I, I sound very calm. I'm not. I'm actually, I'm actually worried. So see now what happened there. I don't know. Ugh, man. I don't like when they get hurt. It really, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like trying to keep cool and keep nice and keep everything, but I am actually now stressed out. I'm I'm pretty stressed out, but I'll be all right. <laughs> everything will be okay. Just don't like when my kids get hurt. It's not nice. And if the coach sends him home, that means he got hurt. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's talk about something else. Get my mind off this, but my mind can't go off this now. But in any way, I don't even know what I was telling you. What, <laughs> um, no, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I was telling, I think I was, yeah. Uh, poor Alex, he's not having a good day, he's really not having a good day. It was this morning, I was talking about this morning. He lost his phone, and now this, he's having a real bad day. Um, he, he spilled that coffee over. So we, we managed to, to, to save everything. I did tell you that. It's just the, the Bible had this gold, gold plating on the pages on the bottom. So to, it got a bit wet, but nothing's crinkled or nothing. That gold plating just went a bit off on the bottom, but the whole Bible is saved. My dad's handwriting, everything is saved. So at least that, that's good. I wonder what's going to happen now, you know, when they get home. I think they're more ready. The school is very, Alex's school is very close to the house. So it's two minutes, then they'll be back. But we'll see now when he comes. Please help me and just hope that it's not too bad. They're back. They're back. I can hear them. They are back. We'll see what happens now. So we're gonna exercise. Um, Alex can't. We exercise here in the. We're gonna walk and stuff. It's around the house and stuff, so you can stay here. Because we we are around. He definitely can't go if 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 he hurt himself. Man, that poor kid is really having a tough day. Do you guys know that I've covered all the purple? You know how much there was. <laughs> I thought I'm still going to do it afterwards. Uh -uh. I've covered it all. The ones I did want to. And I prepared some threads. And guess what? They all used. They're not all used. I've used like half of them. So I over prepared myself. That, oh no, you know what? Oh, there's more purple there. We can at least make this one finished. The string will finish and then I'll just put the other prepared ones away. They're back. Is that you, Alex? No, it's me. Abby, yeah. I'm still recording. Tell Dad to give me five minutes, then we can go and exercise, please. Okay, okay we're going to hear now. She came in. Alex is not in. Alex? Yes. Please come here. I'll come I am recording, please. Can you walk? Barely. Barely. Okay, if you can't just stay there, I'll come. But no, no, you must just give me five minutes. All right, they're back. He is walking. I can yeah, but it's barely. So I don't know. Will yeah. Oh, I found more, more ones, and we can go up there. And there you go. All right, so I've seen this purple around here and there. Ah, uh, there's still a bit of purple we can do. I'm, ugh, oh, no. I don't know what I've done, but like... Take off that shoe and the socks so we can see how it's, because it's going to swell. 
Do you I'm think? still Do you recording. Think I've torn something? No, I don't know, my boy. Okay, guys, so Alex is back. Say hi to the people. They know what happened. Uh, you must just take all that socks and stuff out of your little bed. Okay. All right, so take that dirty socks, take your shoes, take a shower and go lie down. Can I just put my shoes here for now? Under the table, but not your socks. No, the socks are going to go in the Yeah, that's all right. But the, if no, the cats get hold of them, the sweaty socks. <laughs> no, but I'm recording. Listen, after you shower, you're gonna take them. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because I'm scared of the cats and that socks. They like oh, that shoes. The cats love them. All right, guys. So as you can, yeah, he he's walking, but barely. not right, barely. He's 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 hopping around, but he's gonna take a shower. He's gonna lie down, and we'll see the back of his foot swollen. But I'm gonna have to. Take a look at it, but he must just go and lie down so we can see if he turns blue or he turns. And if something like that happens, oh, I must drive again. Take him to his dad so he can have a look at it. But he looks, he looks kind of okay. It looks like he, he just hurt his ankle. I hope it's not something worse. So we'll see. Live action happening here on this stitch along today, right? Hi. <laughs> oh, life takes funny turns, huh? Never know what's happening, but this kid is just having a very bad day. Shame. Gonna make him nice food and tea and stuff later. First, wanna go and get my exercises in, and then I'll do that, of course. Let's see, where's more purple? There's much more purple, yeah. So I don't have to pack it away because there's a whole bunch here. I just want to finish this one. Okay, so I think this is going to be the end of today. I think my family needs me at the moment. I just want to see Alex when he gets out of the shower. I will update you. Of course, I will update you soon, 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 soon. Um, but he looks, he looks all right. He's, he can't, he just can't step on it properly. So. We'll have to look at that. So I hope you enjoyed stitching with me. I really hope you enjoyed all the shenanigans. I will talk to you very, very soon. I hope you enjoy your evening, your morning, your day, whatever time in the world it is by you. Until next time, lots of love. Stitcherella.